What's up everybody, this is John from the App Studio team, and today I am bringing you another tutorial, this time talking about our brand new Touch Develop feature. So we're going to start out by uh, opening up App Studio and signing in. We're also going to open Touch Develop and sign into it as well. I've already done that on both places. Uh, you can go ahead and do that right now. And uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is start a new project in App Studio. I'm going to choose the empty app template, hit create, and that's going to bring me to an empty app with no sections filled out. I'm going to go ahead and add the touch develop data source, and then it's going to ask me for a script ID. And so what I need to do is get that from touch develop. And the way I do that is I go to touch develop, I build my scripts, and just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use one that I know works. So I'm going to use coin flipper. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on it and then I'm going to click share. And what that does is it gives me a short link with four letters at the end, X, G, M, J. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go ahead and paste it into App Studio and I'll hit confirm. And that's going to go ahead and drop my coin flipper app, right? my coin flipper, flipper touch develop script right within my app. And so then now if I generate, I can go ahead and use the coin flip app that was built in touch develop. Now, there's actually an easier way to do this. Let's go ahead and go back to my projects. Now, even if I'm just signed into App Studio and I'm working in Touch Develop, right? And I want, let's say I built this Coin Flipper app and I want to go ahead and send it to App Studio, there's an even simpler way. So we go ahead and we click Share again, and what you see happen is Make it an app, Windows App Studio. As long as you see this appear, you can use this shortcut. If you click the Make it an app button, it goes ahead and it opens up a brand new app in App Studio for you. It drops in the touch develop section and it puts in the script code all by itself so that it makes it super simple for you to share it. So now again, there's two ways, right? We can make our app. We can add the touch develop section ourselves and we can put in the script, uh, the script code on our own. Or we can go to touch develop and as long as Windows App Studio make it an app appears here, then we can go ahead and use the shortcut. Now the one thing to know is about Touch Develop, not everything you make is going to be able to be used in App Studio. If you have online assets in Touch Develop, such as say mapping or web searches, um, like say you're using Bing Translate to build a translation app, unfortunately those apps will not be uh, able to be used in App Studio. It has to be a standalone. Um, so that's it. If you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can ask here on YouTube or use our support forum in the link below. And if you guys want new features, uh, go ahead and hit our user voice and let us know what those are and vote on stuff that other people said. So appreciate you watching our video and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Show us what you build. Thanks. Bye.